Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau facing a barrage of criticism tonight after a big payout to the convicted terrorist who killed this U.S. Army medic, U.S. Army Sergeant First Class Christopher Spear. Trace Gallagher takes us inside this shocking turn of events in our West Coast newsroom tonight. Trace. Martha Omar Cotter is a Canadian citizen who, as a child, went with his father to Afghanistan to train with Al Qaeda. Then in 2002, just shy of his 16th birthday, Cotter tossed a hand grenade at U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan, killing Sergeant First Class Christopher Spear and blinding Sergeant First Class Lane Morris. Cotter was captured and sent to Guantanamo Bay, where he confessed to the war crimes and was sentenced to 40 years in prison. But a plea deal reduced the sentence to eight years. Omar Cotter later claimed he was tortured at Gitmo by Canadian forces. Here's part of his interrogation video. Watch. In 2010, the Canadian Supreme Court ruled the interrogation violated Canadian standards. The court left the remedy up to then Prime Minister Stephen Harper, a conservative. Harper decided to bring Omar Cotter back to Canada to serve the remainder of his sentence. Cotter then sued the Canadian government for $16 million. But Sergeant Lane Morris, who was blinded by Cotter, and the family of Sergeant Christopher Spear had already sued and won a judgment against Omar Cotter for $134 million. Then last week, Liberal Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau not only issued a formal apology to Omar Khadr, he paid him a reported $8.5 million, even though no court had ordered him to pay a dime. And the Canadian Press Wire Service says Prime Minister Trudeau knew there was an outstanding judgment against Khadr in the U.S., so he rushed the payment allowing Cotter to dodge complying with U.S. courts. Today, Peter Kent, a conservative member of the Canadian Parliament, wrote in the Wall Street Journal that the prime minister's actions are not only an affront to Omar Cotter's victims, but to our, quote, U.S. allies and all men and women in uniform. Martha. Trace, thank you. Joining me now, Brian Lilly is a rebel media radio, uh, media radio host excuse me, in Canada, and he's raising money for the children of Sergeant First Class Christopher Spear. Uh, he and his wife, Tabitha, had two children, uh, and as you just heard, they have received no money, despite the fact that the person who took their father's life has received an estimated $10.5 million. Brian, thank you for being here. Uh, is this a cautionary uh, tale about time. what happens when someone is released from Gitmo and goes back home to sort of be subjected to their own country's laws? Well, this is... This is the sort of thing that outrages Canadians coast to coast. I just want your audience to realize that. There's a poll out showing that even the overwhelming majority of Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party voters don't like this. So voters on the left don't like it, voters on the right. Across the country, the support is, it never goes below 68% in opposition to this cash payment. So people are furious at this. And, and I would say that, uh, it's more a tale of what happens when you have a, a naive politician who was elected for his good looks, his hair, and the socks that he talks about when he goes on with Kelly and Ryan, uh, than it, it is what happens with the justice system. Because as Trace Gallagher said in his introductory piece there, no court ordered this payment to happen. Justin Trudeau decided to make it happen. So Cotter sued for 20 million Canadian or about 16 million U.S before a word of testimony was heard, before a single piece of evidence was presented, he gave. He gave him it's the inexplic decision. It's inexplicable. Uh, you know, what can the U.S. government do to force him to use some of that money, at least, or all of it, according to the settlement that this family received in the United States, to pay them off? Oh, so there is a way you can get, uh, you can sue somebody in the United States if they live in Canada or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And you sue where you reside. And then once you get a judgment, if you get a judgment in your favor, then you go to, in this case, the Spear and the Morris family got a judgment in a Utah court. They're now in a Toronto courtroom in Ontario trying to get that enforced. But it takes time. They sought a uh, an injunction last week to freeze Cotter's assets and the court said no you know there's no reason to believe that we have to do this there's a process in place we'll get to that I think that's going to happen later this summer that that attempt to gain access to all his money will go through but 
in the meantime, this money could go anywhere. Yeah. Omar Khadr's amazing. father was one of the financiers of 9-11. Well, you watch, so, you know, Justin Trudeau you know, at the he, White House, and they're talking about the deep relationship between Canada and the United States and the fact that one of our soldiers is killed by this young man who talks himself about pulling the pin out of the grenade and throwing it at these guys is shocking. Uh, and I thank you for bringing some attention well, to it, it, Brian. Uh, and I know that you're from the, the border area, Martha, and I know that uh, you understand there's a deep relationship. So we've raised almost $200,000, and I'd love your audience to consider donating at SpearKids.com. Almost $200,000 from, from Canadians to an American family. Just know that the country doesn't back what Thank Trudeau's you. doing. That's, it's a, a good message. Brian Lilly, and we hope people will do that. Thank you so much. Good to have you here tonight. Thank you.